guys, you guys, 27 in another tutorial. As you may see in my inventory, I am carrying a lot of TNT. And that's because this tutorial will be on how to make a TNT cannon. And give me one minute, because my Minecraft is lagging, like always. Alright, so what we need for this cannon is um, a lot of TNT, tons of TNT. Uh, one pile of redstone is enough, I don't really need two piles. Two buttons and whatever material you want to use, uh, like stone. Then you're also going to need a bucket of water, or if you're using too many items, you can use this too. doesn't matter. So, with your stone, as if you've played Minecraft for a while, you'll probably know that water travels seven blocks, or eight blocks, sorry. Eight blocks. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. You want to bring it out like that. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot. Sorry, I shouldn't have told you in the beginning. You need a stone slab. Just one, not all. Perfect. Alright, so you want to make this like eight blocks. Then with your water bucket, put it in there. And it should travel to there and stop. If you want, you can extend this out one more. Some people do that. Um... I'll do it just to show you here. With your stone slab, you're going to put it right there. Now, with um, you're going to put a block here, like near your source, and put your first button there. Actually, no, I'll put the block here instead. One in front of your source, put the button there. Then over here, you're going to want to make like a staircase type thing. And then like an insert. Not really an insert, but something like that. So you can put a block of TNT like right there. And then you're going to want to put a button here. With your redstone, you're going to wire this. around to the TNT and then you're gonna wire this button to up here but don't wire the source because you're not gonna need to and now you're pretty much set you have one TNT right there and then in this little water stream you want to put a block of TNT in every space except for the source just like that and now if you push this button, it will light the TNT. And then you push this button, it should drop that one. And this block will be launched, and nothing will be destroyed. So let me test it. That lights. You drop this one. <coughs> don't know why it got launched straight up. I don't know why that happened. Oh, yes, I do. Never mind. Um, you're going to want to make the staircase a little bit higher than what I did. So, let me destroy this. And bring it back a little bit more. To like here, maybe. Yeah, you're just going to make it like four blocks high. Or five, whatever you want to do. High enough. But there needs to be a little drop right over that slab. Perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the button there so it's easier to wire. So I'll get my redstone. Not easier to wire, like easier to press both buttons. Perfect. Alright, so you're going to put one TNT there, right over the stone slab. And TNT in every slot except the source, not there. We have to put the button there. Alright. You light the TNT. You drop the TNT. And now that 
that TNT gets launched. Um, you could do this at different delays for closer range targets that you're firing at. For example, let me do it this way. I'm going to light it, wait, 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 drop. <coughs> so that was just for a further away target. And then for a closer target, you could, oops, you could drop this and then immediately drop that. <coughs> so it should like explode right in midair. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, this is just a little TNT cannon and it might be useful for clearing out land and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.